Hello, this is Andrew Woods, and this is the first in a long series of short videos that uh, introduce some of the features of Fedora 4. This first segment uh, will be a simple navigation of uh, the documentation that's on the wiki, because uh, familiarity with that will be helpful for uh, going back and, and finding the, the downloads and the features and all the other information. We, uh, we use the wiki really to capture uh, all of the work ongoing that is happening on Fedora. So let's begin. The wiki you are probably familiar with. Uh, it is uh, wiki.duraspace.org and from there uh, the Fedora wiki space is called Fedora Repository. Uh, there could be some confusion because there are several Fedora related spaces in the wiki, but uh, it's Fedora Repository and the prefix is FF, so you can also just type in wiki.duraspace.org slash display slash FF, but in any case this is the top level of the wiki and what I'll do is just walk through the elements that will likely be of most interest here on the left hand side uh, the the prospectus uh, you're probably familiar with here uh, the next page the mailing lists are the different channels that can be used for communicating uh, and participating in the community so there are several mailing lists as noted here. Uh, so the tech list is where the more developer centric or uh, stack traces or bugs uh, that sort of discussion takes place. The community list is uh, at a slightly higher level maybe uh, at the Fedora user level so questions about uh, why is the functionality working one way or another or how are people using their repository that sort of thing. The announcements list is uh, really a read-only list. Uh, it it uh, gets published to by uh, myself and a few other folks uh, from the Fedora project. That it, it's sort of the the announcements around maybe events that are coming up or the releases. But uh, there's no real discussion per se on that list. Uh, then there are uh, the advisors list, which is the uh, group of uh, stakeholders within the community that are uh, helping inform the, the priorities and uh, the, uh, the functionality and, and basically just helping helping lead the direction of the project and then there's a subset of that group which is the, the steering list who is more involved uh, with the day in day out operations of the project moving on uh, list here the IRC channel which is available on freenode.net um, and then we have a series of meetings I, I guess I'll say about the IRC uh, the the Fedora developers uh, sort of this uh, growing and revolving uh, group of people tend to be on IRC so if you have any real-time questions that you would like uh, to float by the developers or if you'd like to hang out on that list generally and just kind of hear what's going on uh, that's a good place to do it uh, we have several meetings that take place regularly um, and won't necessarily go through all of these I will say that uh, we work in sprints and so there's a stand-up meeting which uh, is for the developers who are on a given sprint just to to uh, discuss what's what's uh, what's happening, what they did yesterday, what they're planning on doing today, uh, blockers, that sort of thing. Uh, but then there is also uh, every Thursday at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time <coughs> the uh, committers call, and it's called the committers call, but actually it's it's open to uh, the entire community. And uh, there's an agenda that uh, gets crafted by uh, the, wh whoever is involved and interested in uh, adding an agenda item, but um, this this meeting is open to uh, the public and uh, 
certainly encourage anyone to join in on that and, and participate in the conversation of, of what's going on. And then there's some more sprint related meetings and, and other meetings with the steering group and advisors and that sort of thing. Um, and then just in, in terms of general resources, uh, here it links to our uh, Pivotal Tracker, our bug tracking system, uh, where the source code can be found, um, the the Java docs, where our continuous integration uh, server is, as well as the code coverage that comes out of that continuous integration, uh, and uh, the main sort of static uh, project website, and then a link to uh, this wiki space. That's all under mailing lists. Then under documentation, I think this is where most of the resources that um, you might be interested in can be found. Um, and let me just expand this out. So there's the quick start guide, <clears throat> which is a very good starting point for downloading um, or basically getting your initial Fedora repository running. Um, so it talks a little bit about the system requirements, uh, and then the process for running the one-click run uh, and then uh, if you want to take it to the, the next level uh, deploying Fedora into a, a server container such as Tomcat or Jetty uh, and, and then some, some follow-on steps here. Uh, the feature tour is basically a um, a walkthrough of the the UI. So uh, natively, Fedora exposes a uh, browser-based interface, and so the the feature tour here does a, a fairly good job of walking through each of the features and um, and in showing how how the interaction looks from a user UI perspective. So in a similar fashion, we also have the features area. And so this is at a uh, lower level than the feature tour. So this is not at, uh, the, uh, at the UI, but all of the features that are documented here uh, have their corollaries over on the feature tour. But uh, this is talking through in, in a little bit more detail um, all of the, the various features that it, uh, can be found in uh, a running Fedora repository and how to interact with each of them. Uh, quite honestly, uh, this section here is one that uh, I use quite regularly. And I will point out of particular interest here the RESTful HTTP API uh, is a comprehensive uh, document which details how to interact with uh, with the repository via uh, via HTTP, so um, using either uh, any number of HTTP clients uh, or from the command line using uh, curl or wget or or whatever you like. But um, this is the low-level detail of of how to uh, interact with the repository via HTTP and and here you can see all of the different functions broken out uh, into their individual pages and actually all these pages are, are are rolled into this one top level page as well. All right um, and then there is the administrator's guide and here this is uh, as you might guess focused um, a bit more on deploying Fedora 4 uh, configuring, so there's deploying, there's configuring, uh, there's setting up uh, authorization, uh, some notes on performance testing that has taken place. Um, uh, so basically just some in information that uh, is interesting to developers but, but really targeted more at uh, folks that might be actually deploying and uh, setting up a running um, Fedora. Um, also some detail here about clustering. Um, the developer's guide right now is pretty thin. Uh, some notes here on Hydra and Fedora 4 as well as Islandor and Fedora 4, but uh, in both, case, both cases uh, I, 
think uh, those pages are a little bit skimpy. Um, and then just some, some terminology that uh, relates to the project is noted in the glossary here. <clears throat> All right. So that's the that's the documentation section. Uh, the next area here in the wiki is uh, development, and uh, maybe of primary interest is now the beta development subsection. Uh, in in here is where we we track uh, what's been going on in uh, in each of the sprints. Uh, the the main um, features or priorities that were associated with the sprint as well as links to uh, each of the, um, the detailed sprint notes. Um, also under under this is uh, the sprint schedule and and then some design pages uh, so it's kind of like a work in progress uh, just a scratch area for, um, for for fleshing out some some design details. Um, and, and, and obviously all, all of these design pages, uh, in, any comments that uh, you may have, uh, you're more than uh, welcome and, and, and actually quite encouraged to add comments to those pages. But also you, you see under the sprint schedule page, uh, the schedule of, of um, developers on, on the calendar. So maybe gives a little bit of insight into how our sprint development works or is scheduled out. Uh, then under the roadmap section, there's an area of acceptance testing. Uh, this is actually very important. Uh, what, we're, what we're trying to achieve with this, and this is really a public facing area, um, we are trying to get sign off on various features and, and commitments from different institutions to uh, just focus on a given feature and to to uh, test it out and document both their setup as well as their results um, in order to ultimately get signed off and, and probably in the process get some feedback on uh, uh, areas that could be improved. Um, then there's there's the 4.0 detailed feature set um, and, and sort of at, at a high level uh, kind of talking through the features that can be found. Um, in the 4.0 release and um, can be found right now in the beta release. So this uh, 4.0 feature set is good for passing along to um, maybe other folks in your institution just to, to give a, uh, a detailed but uh, high level uh, description of what can be expected out of Fedora 4. Uh, then some, some requirements uh, that uh, this is a, a staging area for, for collecting uh, specific requirements for specific features and then uh, the use cases area actually is is quite large and we uh, have been and continue to collect use cases from the community uh, that help actually drive the development so without these use cases uh, it's sort of a uh, difficult target uh, to know what to aim for um, in, in terms of continuing to flesh out the capabilities of Fedora 4. Uh, then there is the releases area, and uh, these are fairly simple pages that um, just uh, just link off to the uh, various releases that have taken place. And it seems like there is an update required here to get to um, the uh, most recent beta release. So uh, here you'll find uh, links to the different artifacts that uh, were uh, created with release as well as um, specific release notes. Uh, and, and then if you just want to get to a, a, a download of um, the uh, most recent release or any of the previous releases, there is the downloads page that has the uh, the Fedora web app war file that can be dropped into Tomcat, for example. There's the one-click uh, war file that actually is a self-contained uh, bundle that uh, basically, as uh, the name implies, you can click on it and uh, Fedora just starts right up and then links off to uh, the uh, GitHub repository. Likewise, there is a uh, Fedora web app 
war file that um, has authorization, sort of the default configuration for authorization already bundled in. And then there's this uh, external component uh, that is used for populating an external solar or an external triple store. Um, so that's under the downloads and there's some presentations. There's uh, some FAQs and how to's. Uh, this, this list um, is n not extremely curated. Uh, there are some interesting things here, but um, uh, if, if there are uh, questions that uh, would be beneficial to address, um, we would be more than happy to throw uh, an FAQ page up. Uh, then a shout out to the Fedora sponsors um, and the uh, project team also listed project team and then there's an area for the technical team which is mostly for folks who are working on sprints uh, and then uh, there uh, as mentioned before are several meetings that that take place uh, in the course of, of uh, running the Fedora project and so all of the minutes for the various meetings can can be found under the under the meeting section. So that's that's um, a sort of brief walkthrough of uh, the wiki. Uh, hopefully that's useful and uh, sort of uh, gives a sense of how things are organized there. Um, so stay tuned for more tutorials. All right. Thanks. Bye.